Hello, and welcome back to Shading Techniques. This is number four. So we're going to pass on our new worksheet over here. Pretty simple, back on Klecky. And now we're going to see the benefits of using computer art. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do this. We didn't know what to do. We're going to put the layer here in the bottom, pick the brushes, pick white, click enter. And we're going to make a new layer. We're going to make the gradient for the background over here. So brush. 100% black. Please remember to go as far out as you can, especially on the edges. 80%. 50 50%. 20%. 20%. 100%. Oops, I went there a bit too much. That. There we go. Then we go to Edit, Triangular Blur, mm, let's do 70, OK, go back to our layers. Now what I would like to do is that you guys here with the brush, we're going to get the eraser. Right, we need to see approximately where it is, I'm going to put it there kind of halfway. I just want to clean around, not too close to the box. Okay, just to make our life easier down the line. There we go. Right. So we are going to duplicate the layer, edit, transform. We're going to rotate 180 degrees. We're going to put it where we want it, which is going to be approximately there. Click OK. And then we're going to go to Layers, and we're going to duplicate what we just made. We're going to go to Brush, Eraser, Size 200, which is the size of the sphere, Opacity 100. We do one click in the center. We're going to check that we've done it correctly. That's pretty simple. On the layer in the bottom, we can check. Yes. Now, look at this. This is the benefit of using layers and knowing what you're doing. So you're going to click here, Merge with Layer Below. We're going to use Destination Out. There we go, we have a beautiful sphere, and we click OK, and look at that. Now we need to do the sphere inside, this little one. This is going to be really quick. Again, we duplicate. We go to Edit, Transform, Rotate again, 180 degrees. We're going to make this smaller. We're going to put it around about where we want it. There we go, click OK, and bingo, you are done. As you can see, this is really fast. So here in Layers, I'm just going to merge Source Over. So I don't want to take up space. I'm going to do this one more time. And done. OK, we can quickly just erase what's happening here on the background, on the section, so it's not bothering us over there. There you go. You see, that's pretty quick. I'm just going to bring down the opacity of this one so we don't bother too much about it. Again, we're going to make a new layer. And this one, again, we are going to do our gradient. We've got size 60, 100. We're going to start with 100% black. And as you can see, we're going to start from the top part black. That's our background. And then we're going to do 80 and then 50, and then 20, and then 0% up here white. Again, we're going to make it nice and big. Again, edit, triangular blur, round about 70. There we go. So we've got this. Now, watch carefully what we're going to do. We are going to make a, we're going to duplicate the layer. We're going to go to edit. We're going to go to Transform, and we're going to do this rotation again, just like we did before. Right, 180 degrees, we're going to put it where we like it. Click OK. Right, now this is going to become quite interesting, so bear with me. We're going to make a new layer. We're going to, sorry, new layer. We have our brush. We're going to choose red. 
we are going to choose size 30 which is going to be approximately as you can see here the size of our square but we're going to pick now the square brush and what we're going to do we're going to calculate as best as we can where this is going to be okay we could do it over here if we want to so if we could click out oh but we're not going to see it are we because we're under so let's just do it in the right place. So click, out, click, and then click, click, and keep on pressing out. And there we go. That's pretty fast and simple. Now here we're going to go to layers. And look at this. We're going to go here into merge. But now we're going to click over here, destination in. We click OK. And bingo, we have the same thing. Now we're going to do the same thing for this one over here but just instead of using black we're going to use blue as a gradient right so i'm going to continue from this step right over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a new layer on this new layer i'm going to make this red diamond shape above it but now i'm going to use my brush size about 20 which is round about the size of this one then i want to make the diamond shape on my new layer over here um, we can make it red because it, it's nice and quick and simple to see. So we start right here, so click, and I'm going to press shift the whole way. I'm not going to let it go until I have done all of my diamond. Bingo. Now here, what's important is that we're going to have to erase what we don't want. So I recommend you zoom in. My hand is to move this over here. So I'm going to go to the eraser. I'm going to bring it down. It's also around about, um, I think 10 would be a good number. And we are going to erase where we want this part to look like it's on top. Okay. So here we go. We erase. And then this one too. Good, and our last one, fantastic. Now, you're probably wondering, but wait, this has got a gradient. No, don't worry. I'm going to make a new layer, but this new layer, I'm gonna put under what I've just made, my diamond. This is my diamond over here, yes, and that's my new layer on the bottom. Again, now I can zoom out to as I was, put the sheet where I'm working, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for my brushes, my normal brush, and I'm going to go for this pink one. Again, choose any colors you want to do for the blue and for the red. It's up to you. So I'm going to start with the white over here. I'm going to make this 60. So white. And then I'm going to use a bit of pink. And then I'm going to go a little bit darker. And now a little bit more. And my last one, okay. Again, edit, triangular blur. This one will do about 60, okay. Then we go over here to layers, back. We're gonna choose our diamond layer, okay. This is important, our diamond layer. That's our gradient, our diamond layer. And we're gonna merge down. So we're gonna merge here. And we're gonna use this one again, destination in. And here we can see what it would look like. You click okay, and bingo, you've done it. So this is the first section of the blur techniques. So over here, that's your it's going to be your turn to create something, okay? So use color to really spark off your imagination and make something quite interesting. So you've done a fantastic blur techniques right here above. And now we're going to move down here to the brush techniques. So we're going to start working here with a sphere. The main idea is that here on the layers, we're going to create two layers. One, two. The top layer over here, we are going to fill with white. So we get our brush, we make sure it's white. We click enter. There we go. We're going to go back here to layers. Sorry, to brush. And then we're going to pick up the eraser tool. We're going to put the eraser tool at 175. There we go at 100 opacity, 
and we are going to erase approximately the same place where it is. One click. Here we got our layers. If you want to check, all you got to do is bring this one down, and there we can see we cut right through. Okay. Don't forget on the brush. We can use also that transparent background if it's not working. It's pretty simple. Just click it over here. Then what we're going to do, we're going to go to the, the layer that's under this white layer over here. So the white with the hole and right here under. And we're going to be using our brush. With the key brush we're going to be using for all the three techniques over here is our blend brush. Right? If we leave the mouse there, it says blend. That's where we get the name from. So we're going to be using this brush at 30, and here 30, and, and blend at 60. This is just to kind of get started. I like this one to, to click in. We're going to zoom in, or oh, before we zoom in, sorry, we're going to quickly get our shape around here. Now it's going to be really simple. We know how to do this. Alt, click to get 100%. And as you can see, we're just painting I was trying to get this. As we cut out, we're painting on the bottom layer. This will give us this perfect circle. This is one of those other benefits of doing it digitally. 80%. So let's add on 80% there. As you can see, it's blending a little bit. Our 50%. We're going to move our 50% kind of around there. Okay. And then we pick up our 20%. Close it off a little bit there, and we leave. We're going to put our white right there. Fantastic. Now, what we do is that we are going to bring our opacity to zero, blending to 100. Now, what's key is that I recommend that you zoom in, okay? Because it's always better that we work nice and close to get this beautifully done. So we're on our brush, so size 30, okay? and opacity zero, blending 100. And what we're going to do, if we're going to blend this, you guys know how to do this, we've already done it. I'm guessing you guys are going to be fantastic at this. Okay, as you can see, you're just going to go through and you're going to blend all of this. So you get a beautiful sphere. So our circle is turning into a sphere. Obviously, you're going to take your time, get this done correctly. I need a bit more white, that's not a problem. Bring up opacity, bring down blending, keep it on the white, put it over here. That's the beauty, you know? Bring opacity to zero, blending to 100. And there we go, let's add this on here. Right. If you want to take away those little ones, go a little bit smaller, and you can go bit by bit to get these nicely disappeared, all right? Or you can go a little bit big, but as you can see, then it goes quite crazy. I wouldn't recommend it. I would just keep it a bit towards the 30 or the 20s, and I would work around there. Okay? Then when you're happy with it, what you're going to do, now watch this. This is going to be quite interesting. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to our white layer, yes? The one where we made the hole. And we're going to merge this one down over here. You got all these beautiful benefits. And now we're going to use the option that says destination out. So as you can see, it leaves a sphere here perfectly. Okay? And you click OK and bingo. There you go. You've got your sphere perfectly on one layer. Then what we're going to do, we're going to add on a layer on the bottom, right over there. And this is where we are going to do our shadow. So again, we're going to use this. I recommend 30. 30 and about 60. It's just a nice way of starting. You can select the colors from right here on top. Remember that's pressing Alt. And we start working. And the whole idea is that we go doing this nice and carefully. And we're going to create a shadow. Okay, this one was around about 20 when I did it. Let's go back to a bit darker here. And then we bring opacity down, blending up. But here I would recommend we work on a bit of a smaller size towards 20 approximately, and we go blending all of this. Okay. Obviously, you know, if you didn't do the shape that you don't like over here, I want this a bit more pointy. You know, I can bring this a bit out over here. And if I don't like something as simple as picking up the brush, uh, the eraser, not making it too big, 
And then I can erase my shapes. I want the opacity a bit down so it has smoother edges. And I can go around, okay? And you can make this into your perfect shape. Well done. Now, our next one, the cube. So I'm going to move along over here. Right. When we're done, obviously, we get these layers and we source over. And then we go down again and we source over to our next layer. Done. Okay, so to start our cube, we're going to make again a new layer. We're going to do two straight away. This top layer is going to be quite simple. We're going to go to our brush. I'm just going to recommend that we use our regular brush to get started. We need to use number one. So that's one pixel, basically. We need to opacity to 100. We need to use a circle over here. And we're going to make sure we've got pure black. Now, the idea is that we're going to draw these outlines to work on our cube. So we have to think about round about where it's going to be. So it's going to be about here. So we're going to click, shift, click, shift, click, shift, click, shift, click down, click, shift, click, round about down there, up here, and then go back down here, and I'm guessing it's going to be about there, you have a good eye, and bingo, you've done. Now I'm going to choose just a nice light one, I'm going to pick up this nice little gray about here, and I'm going to do the outline for my shadow, so click, shift, approximately here click and then here click and then here click I'm pressing down shift to have these beautiful straight lines bingo there we have our outline now what we're going to do here in layers we're going to go down here and we're going to start working on this one so we're going to go to our brush remember I said this is the blending brush one I recommend that we use again as usual 30 30 and 60 and this one over here it's approximately 90% black, so here we can click it just using out. And as we're in the bottom one, we just go, and there we go. Right, as simple as that. And then what we do is we go to eraser tool. I recommend the eraser is on for this one and 20. I recommend the opacity should be 95. There we go. So here we're going to go click, shift, so with the edge of the brushes, that's where it's going to be raising. As simple as that. And bingo, we have one of those sides done. And then back to layers, we make a layer, a new one. That's going to be for this side. Okay, so here we're going to go to our blur brush. We've got there our sizes. We choose this one, which is around about 60% gray. There we go. And now this is around about 20% gray. A little bit bigger. There we go. Now bring this up to 100, down to zero, and we blend this in. We smooth it. When we're happy, again the eraser, click, shift, click. We get this nice and clean. Click, shift, click, click, shift, click. Clean up around, and we do this side, and we're done. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple process. And then from here, layers, we're going to make a new layer, and it's going to be a shadow down over here. So again, back to our blend. And as I've been doing, picking up my darkish one over here. Again, this should be 30, 30, 60. And we get this as around about 90%. And then we're going to go to about here, and that was about 50-ish, and then a little bit over here on the tip. That's the idea. Bring blending to 100, opacity to zero. Blend all of these nicely together. Then when you're happy, again, erasing tool. So we're going to click, shift, click. Click, shift, click. Click, shift, click. Clean around. Was a mistake I did there? Yes. Again, clean, 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 shift. Very good. That's done. 
Now to bring it all together, this is a little white this line that we did over here. I don't like it too much, so I'm gonna take it away. So here my list, remember this was our outline. You can see it over here, it's our outline. Okay, we can take away the outline if you want to. It looks pretty decent also. We can leave it there. But I do want to take away this outline part. Over here, the shadow, because I don't like the way it looks. And bingo. And you're done. Fantastic. And now our drop. So just before we continue, let's just merge all of these down. So source over. OK. Source over. OK source over okay and source over okay and there it's in its place and now we're going to go to our water drop what we need to do is we're going to make a new layer we're going to go to our brushes over here and we're going to choose this which is 30 percent gray so i'm just clicking here with alt and i'm going to fill my layer pressing enter you know this one I recommend that you are always zoomed in to do this work. I recommend that you use this brush over here, size one, right over here. And um, you, sorry, this one, the blending one, not this one. The blend, go right down to size two. Okay, I'm gonna recommend you move these down, opacity a little bit about here, and then you're gonna start drawing your circle. Do this all on this gray layer, okay? The main idea and what you're going to do is that you're going to follow all the instructions on this youtube video which i've also posted and it's pretty simple it will go through all the steps and all you need to do is follow them right to the end and you are going to have a gorgeous drop just like over here perfect this is all thank you very much for watching goodbye